wow, these are all old historic homes. And by that, I'm talking about homes like the same home where Jefferson lived or where Madison lived or where everything else lived. And that's all I'm going to say. And today, we're going to be discussing topics according to and also related to these historic homes. And today's debate topic is... Should historic homes be saved? And by being saved, we mean renovated so that it looks like an original piece of artwork. This is a photo, by the way, not a painting. But these are all works of art. The architecture, the all the other things, the kind of styles that they're being built in, that is all works of art that I cannot stress enough. Columns, more columns, this style here, where architectural things like the windows and the panes and the door itself. This one that's shaped like a barn is actually nice too. And these that separate into three more rooms. This that looks very much like the Library of Congress. Also, it also doesn't at the same time. So that's kind of weird. And this, this, I don't, I have no opinion on. I'll just say no comment. And the rest, I guess you'll figure out which kind of things that I'm talking about in those places. Now let's first talk about historic preservation. What is historic preservation? Well, historic preservation is actually the act of saving either uh, or restoring older homes that have been used to be buildings to actually their original condition, like... From this shabby old little shack into into this which is a nice really good looking house with color in it, at least and now the uh now let's talk about something else the nrhp the national register of historic places they are actually the people who decide if these buildings are historic or old if they're like historic or they're like just a piece of old junk and they're the ones who determine if this should be demolished or if this should actually be kept and preserved to be more clean and more awesome and to be in its peak original state. And now for the uh, more results. Now there are like 300,000 to 400,000 people in the U.S. who and the U.S. will lose their homes, basically between 300,000 to 400,000 homes are destroyed every year in the U.S. Because we don't really know how many homes there are because for some reason there are some inaccurate accesses and data, so we don't really mind much of it. So, now for you affirmative position, rise or land, lantern. So basically, the once historic homes are destroyed, like if this is demolished, it can never be resurrected back to its original state. It can be created as a model, but it can never be created as a dupli as the original version on the actual place itself. Also, historic homes, it's gone for good and along with its history, so your historic homes to be saved? In my opinion, yes. Two, it's actually greener. By that, I mean more recycling, more reducing, and more uh, reusing. That ways, all the ways that we can use to recycle, and it's great for the environment to actually not to restore an already eating home than it is to tear down, right? And yeah, to make a new one too. Well, historic homes are a symbol of a neighborhood's identity and past, so if there's like something wrong with a sheep or boar and the past, then this, then this dog would probably have been called Wolfie. It's actually a pretty accurate name. And now for the negative position. Now the negative position has where if you demolish these buildings, then these lands, well, older houses have taken up so much land that there's enough space to actually create more, which will actually help meet the demand and the rising demand for you as homes. And that's pretty important, don't you think? If you at least have iron and pumpkins that are shaped as a jack-o'-lantern, then you're all set to go to fight these guys. And that is kind of one of the main points of all this. It's also a lot to work to maintain with each other and its old homes and when they aren't kept up they 
actually become unattractive and very unsafe. And that's all I could probably tell you guys right now. Historic homes, in my opinion, should be safe because they are the places where most famous people have written their works. Like my Minecraft, for those places you guys can do a lot of things, but then... Again, I created something in there, and you could actually preserve it. It was pretty old then, but then you could actually just fix it up. And it looked just as good as new. I created a simulation there. With these, it will kind of be similar, but it will cost way, way much more, which is something that might not be worth for. But... In my opinion, if you're able to get it back to its original position, to its original place in time, like to its original thing, like when it was first created, when it was fresh out of the house industrial, house producer thing, whatever, then I guess you could probably live in it. It could be turned into a museum for the uh, person who used to live it, the famous person who used to live in it, that made it famous and historical for that person's life. Or you could even just even use it for your own little personal living space, and that's pretty nice too. Although it would probably cost a lot, because it turns out just just renting the house that's still the tip of the iceberg. You still have if you want to renovate everything, you have to like do a lot of contracts and pay a lot of money. You probably don't want to do. It brings me up to my next part that it's a lot of work to do to maintain all these old homes and when they are kept up they do become unattractive and unsafe so that's kind of a bad problem don't you think? And that is it. So now let's go into my opinion. In my opinion to be honest I really think that Ooh, historic homes should be safe. If they're safe, then I guess they can be used for very useful things like some new family moves in or it can be turned into a museum for the f in honor of the famous person who lived there that made it a historical home. Like the barrier of that person, then I guess that could count too. And that is all I can probably say right now. And in my opinion, the negative position wins. Although, the results for the negative position is 22%, and the results for the affirmative position is 78%, so the affirmative position wins. Ding, da da ding, da ding, 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 affirmative, affirmative, affir, affir, affirmative, the end. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and I will see you guys in my next episode, and soon, shout out, peace.